I understand that, but I, like I was saying, I came up on here and Nasser didn't really care about that because no, I agree. this is what I'm doing. Like, that's what I'm is I don't really care. Care. What I'm saying is that's Pariah. What I'm saying is that's your prerogative and you don't have to change. You can be who you are, but all I'm saying is you're going to keep attracting. No, because when I step outside and I go out, I have myself accordingly. The people that I can track is when I go out, my kids are clean. My kids don't have dirty clothes on. They're always clean. Well no one said fair. your kids have dirty clothes. I'm saying when I go out, I make sure I'm groomed and I'm and I'm with child. But when I come back in the house, if I pull that wig off, I'm pulling that wig off. That's the only problem that I see here is that I don't have on wig and lashes and hair is not Well, no, baby. And... It's not just that. You don't have on wig. You don't have on lashes. You have kids crying in the background. You have a lot of things that men has to think about. And this is not just Oh, that, well, kids that's gonna just cry. what it is. You can't accept the kids going to cry. What's up, YouTube? It is your boy, Mr. Nobody. And I'm back in the vibe with another episode of Foolery. Okay. This right here, you guys have to see. Kendra G never fails. Never fails. Another woman who is standing up for the ratchet. 25 year old, five kids, says she's here for the ratchet mothers. Y'all gotta check this out, man. I don't, I don't even know how, what else to do about it. Just. Hello? Hi. I can't see your face, boy. <laughs> I look a mess, hello. Are you ready to be? Here, baby, you call me. Yes. Okay, you gotta put the phone down so we can see your face, boo. All right, hold on. Let me get up. Hello. Can't you see me? Let me. I need to put a hat on. I see the <laughs> You see the plants? Those fake plants? You right? You ready, baby? Okay. Yeah. What, what's your name, honey? Shariah. You're so close. Move back a little bit. Is that a crying baby? Yes. Is that your baby? Yes. How old is your baby? Three. I have twins. You have three year old twins? Yes. Why are you not with their dad? Oh, crazy. What happened? Crazy. Who's crazy? He was crazy. He was like a bad relationship for like three years. Why you have kids by him? Um, I was young, but I'm still young. I'm 25. Go back, go back to the mirror. We need light, sweetheart. I'm trying to work with you, baby. We need okay. light, honey. Okay. Okay. And you got to get the phone steady so I can see your face. Now tell me your name again. Shariah. Shariah. And where are you calling me from? I'm Henderson. Well, Oxford, North Carolina. You're so close to the phone, baby girl. You have to move the phone. Oxford, please. North Carolina. And I'm going to take my hat off because... So we're going to act like we don't see that. You show up to Kendra G show with an antenna. Stand up in top of your head. This month is my birthday month and I'm all about natural. So this is what I look like without no wig on, no makeup, no eyelashes, no nothing. <laughs> The purpose, the purpose of being natural is to take the chemicals and dyes and everything out your hair. She literally has red dye in her hair. So she's thinking because I don't have a wig on, that's natural. What is the girl? You got the did, did you want to go check on the kids? Say it again. Do you want to go check? on the kids do i have other kids do you want to go check on the kids or are you good oh no they're fine okay so shariah right mm -hmm. you're you gotta bring the phone back baby girl there we go so shariah and you're 25 yeah and what do you do for a living i'm a daycare teacher daycare te you're a daycare teacher okay um what's your zodiac sign yeah. honey? 
Leo. Leo. Have you ever been married? No. No. And so, and what city are you calling me from? Oh, Oxford. Oxford, North Carolina. North Carolina. You just tell me that. All right. So this is Soraya, North Carolina. She has. Are the twins your only children? No, I have five children. You really have five children? Yes, I do. <laughs> you see how Kendra looked at her? It's like, you got five kids and you're 25. Five kids at 25. Kendra just be looking at these girls like, what the? What? Let's, let's listen a little more, man. I want y'all to hear this. I want y'all to hear this. Before. How old are your kids, honey? Um, I have a six-year-old. I have twins. They are three. I have a one-year-old, and I have a two-month-old. Shariah. Yes, I do. Are they all about the same man? Um, three of them. Yes. This young lady has five kids, six and under. She's twenty-five years old. And when asked how many fathers or do they have the same fathers? You reply with three of them do. Okay. What about the other two? You know, why, why do y'all say that? Like, well, the other two don't count. Just these count. So was it three fathers, two fathers? What? Don't be trying to slip. You know what I'm saying? Trying to slide one through. What is it? I mean, y'all really got five kids, so I don't think it really matter. But let's, let's find Baby girl, who are you looking for tonight, honey? Um, I didn't think you was going to pick me. I'm not really looking for nothing. I didn't think you was going to pick me. I was just watching you on the phone, on the chair with the kids. So do you want, I asked you in the beginning, did you want to stay? You said yes. Yeah. So what, 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 what do you want? Are you single? Yes. So do you, do you not want to proceed or do you want to proceed? Oh, yeah. You can proceed. So what kind of man are you looking for, honey? Um, someone who is cool, established, like just cool down to earth, really. Um, you don't really have to. You got to have some going for yourself, cause I got some going for myself. I actually, um, I do school. I'm a single mother of five kids. They're well taken up care of. I am young. Um, I work. I do everything. Thing for myself, maintain for myself. I am a single parent, so you don't have to come be a stepdad. Hold on, I'm sorry. Cut it out. Huh. It's okay. You don't have to come be a stepdad or be there for my kids. You just have to respect me that I do have children. That's my it. Sure, so I, I want to sit there for a second because you have you have five children. You have a two month old, a one year old, three year old twins, and a six year old. And the kind of guy you describe, he got to have something going for himself. And I understandably so. That's the kind of guy I think everybody wants. But what would you say to the man that is concerned? Because you do have five kids and you have four kids under the age of five. Yes. Mama. Mama. We can't see your face, Soraya, honey. Yes, I'm listening. I'm reading the comments because they just going wild in these comments. Okay, so this way everything about to go left. She's reading the comments, so you know how that's going to go. But this this one thing, I need you ladies to have multiple kids like that, four and five, three, whatever. You can't hear the noise because you've gotten used to it. You know, it's like that thing where they say you um, nose blind, like you smell poop so much that you don't smell it when, you know, you're around it so much, you don't smell it. That's how it is with all these kids making all this noise. She doesn't hear the noise. We hear the noise. It's a lot of noise. So can't no man go in there and be at peace with all that going on? Because she hadn't told them to stop or be quiet yet. They're all in the video doing whatever, talking, mama, hey, whatever, blah, 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 crying. That is very annoying. I know it's your kids. You love them. But those are your kids. Your kids. Let's go. Well, Sarai, right. do you understand? I, I want to have a girl. I want to have a real talk for you. Yeah. Let's, let's, let's have a real talk because I feel like sometimes there's judgment, but let's have a real talk with love. A real talk with love. What would you say to a man that is 
frustrates it in me and that is concerned because you do come with a lot that somebody will have to accept. Concerned about what? Baby girl, you have a two-month-old, a one-year-old, three-year-old twins. Any man that's going to join life with you has to be willing to pay for you and your... Oh, no, you don't have to pay for nothing. I'm not looking for no relationship to marriage. So you don't have to pay for nothing. My kids you, don't want, you, you, you don't want marriage? No, my kids are well taken care of. I'm okay. not hopping on no boat saying nothing about marriage. That's for one. Okay. My kids are well taken care of. Okay. I don't need nothing from no one for my children. If I'm talking to someone, I'm talking to them for me. When I say you have to accept me, meaning you have to accept that I come along with children. You don't have to come in. For one, when I first start talking talk to you or dealing with anyone, you're not going to meet my kids when I first start talking talk to you or dealing with anyone. That's the one. You have to earn that. I don't just bring people around my kids. No, that's And fair. I actually click on accept because I feel like people are so judgmental of people who have children or people who are young with multiple kids. Because I make it happen. I don't need no man to make nothing happen. A man is just like luxury, like a bag. A man is luxury, not meaning sex or nothing like that, but it's extracurriculum activity. I don't need you to pay for or do shit for the kids until we make it there. That's for that's the first part. Um, okay, but yes, I do one with kids, but you don't have to come talk to me worried about no kids because my kids are fine. Well, let me jump in. Let me just jump in. A couple things. Um, three men. Why can't you settle down with any of the children's dads? Um. Um, one is incarcerated. Okay. He's been in and out of jail. We was together for four years and he was like crazy. Okay. The other two? Um, and my oldest son, I was 18. Okay. And my last one, he is, I don't know what the yeah. f to tell you about that. <laughs> Your two month old baby, what's up with him? Um, I don't know what he got in there. He's crazy. Did, did y'all notice how she just brushed over the last two? Now, she said, she said when I was 18, then she just left it. That's not a reason because she was 18. And then the last one, the two-month-old, she was like, well, he just, just he crazy. So it, it comes around that you don't have a good understanding of a good man. And you're having kids with these dudes. Jailbird and two, you can't even mention. And now, because you hit 18, but what, what? That doesn't exclude anything. That ain't that young and dumb. And that's one thing the military did that was smart. When they come in and they ask these type of questions, why you did certain things, you can't use because I'm young and dumb. They got rid of that. You have to answer the question appropriately. Young and dumb is not the answer to you making mistakes in life, especially when you went on and made four more after that. Come on now. So, Soraya, again, because I want to talk to you with love, not judgment. Is it fair to say... Will someone please say hi to this doggone kid so she'll stop saying this? Your three baby daddies are not men. You would want to settle down. Say it again. Is it fair to say that the three men you have children with are not the type of man that you would want to settle down with? Yeah, you learn off with, you learn with life. I would have... um. I would say my children saved me. Some people have kids to keep men, but I didn't have no children to keep the men. My kids saved me from certain things that I've been through in my life. I've been through a lot at an early age. So each one of my kids saved me from a different thing. So with my kids, they, they taught me, the people I had kids with taught me a lot. They really right. so let me taught me a lot of what not to settle for. Right. If you get what I'm saying. No, I do not get what you're saying. You can't do all this. And at 25, you try to say now that you're not selling. You're not going to settle or you're not settling or you learn where you don't have to settle. You have five kids by three different dudes. Only one you want to claim, one incarcerated. What, what are you talking about? See, this is what I'm talking about. Y'all trying to use terminology that don't go with your life. Just stop it, man. Kindred, say so. Okay, so Shariah, you brought up the word settle, so I want to sit there for a second. So I'm, I'm trying to hear you out because mm -hmm. the type of man that you're describing now is opposite from your children's dads, right? You want a different No, type those of... are my children's dads. Right, right. But what people. I'm saying is the type of man that you are requesting that you want to accept, for, accept you for you is a different type of guy, correct? Yeah, yeah. So, 
you said you don't want to settle. Can you not understand how a man that not, 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 not a guy that just wants to have sex with you? Because if a guy just wants to have sex with you, you're right. He don't care yeah. about what you got going on because all he cares about is your vagina. Yeah. But if there's a man that wants to take you serious, he has mm-hmm. to be willing to accept you have a two-month-old, a one-year-old, three-year-old twins, and a six-year-old. So that man has to be in a space of saying, does this make sense for me to yeah. align myself with her? Oh, uh, well, I mean, if he feel like that, then he's not for me anyway. Okay. That's how I feel about that. That answer that really simple for me. If he feels like that, then he's not for me. Okay, all those kids screaming in the background and she act like she doesn't hear any of this, that mess is killing me. So y'all see what I mean by the 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 noise blindness? She's so used to it, she doesn't think it's an issue. Outside looking in, can't no man sit there and be with that? They can't. That's and she's not even telling them to stop and be quiet. See, that's a problem right there. You're not disciplining these doggone kids. Everybody has something somebody that's for them. That's not if you get what I'm saying, when you, when you find you know, that person that's I, 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 for you, and I, they're going to step I'm every not, you come with. Here's the deal. I want to say this. I, I'm not a negative person. I'm a very optimistic person. But we yeah. know that that saying's not true because we know people who are, who are alive and they never get a romantic person. Now, granted, I believe God is real and God will show up in companionship for every human being. I do believe that God will send somebody to you, but it could be a family member. Yeah. They're always romantic situations. And we know people that live their whole lives that never end up in a romantic situation or have someone. So the saying that there's someone for everybody in a romantic situation is just not a true statement. Say it again. The same so that I there is. I think we misunderstood each other. Okay, what does you mean when you said there's somebody for everybody? Say it again. I said what I was saying was I don't believe there's a romantic situation for every human being on this planet. No. Is that what you meant? It might not be. Okay. But what is your people okay. judgment on people who already have children? I don't feel like. Be? I said because some people are um, of judgmental of young people, people who already have children. People, I feel like young people who have, people who have children anyway, multiple children or have different, everybody has a different life background, if that makes sense or what I'm trying to say. So I feel like young women who have children, multiple children or a come up here like that, they judgmental of by this, about a peer. Like, okay, you judge a book by its, its cover. But you can't always judge a book by its cover. I answer this because I don't give a fuck. You feel me? About what nobody say about this. You see, that's where the problem is. You should care how you come on um, something like the dating show with a lot of people. You should care how you look. You're coming on trying to meet someone. So your appearance does matter. You come on here and say, I don't care. Who wants that? Who wants a woman who don't care what she looks like? Who wants that? Like, come on. Trying to sound smart. It's not about this. Because I put on clothes, you know, I just was chilling with my kids. But people judge you by having kids. I'm a dope mama. I'm great mom. Have all of my kids. You can look at my page. I do everything for my kids. I work. I'm a hard worker. I come with my own stuff. I might not be on the level of somebody who is, um, what's the word I can use? Established. As in, like, have a career or, you know, I might not be in their field of establishment, but I'm doing damn good to be 25 with five kids and bring everything on my table. So it's people on different levels for everybody, You, if you get what I'm saying. I don't I do get what you're who, saying, Shariah. Yeah. But again, because, I again, I want to just start to you with love, not with judgment. Yeah. I get what you're saying, but you have to take responsibility ability for how you show up, right? So, yeah. you talked about the three men that you have children with. Yeah. One's incarcerated, one's not around right now, and I, don't, I forget the third scenario. But if you yeah. want a, if, but if you want to attract a different type of man, you have to show up as a different type of woman. And Correct. to come on my show, and just like, whatever, you know. Yeah, because I was just on, on the chair. I didn't think you were going to but accept girl, the- but girl,
Oh, we, we passed that because A, you yeah. called me, and B, I asked you several times if you wanted to continue. So the excuse of you ain't know you was going to be here, we passed that. Oh, it was okay? so fine that's, that's with me because I'm no fine. That's I am fine no with my natural. Okay, if, that's if fine, but what I'm saying, but, with baby me, girl, baby what girl, I'm what I'm saying like. is this. What I'm saying is this. You're going to continue to attract the same type of men you had children by unless you change yourself. That's all I'm trying oh, to say. Oh, my, what do I need to change by myself? Because I answer the phone in cornrows and no wig or no makeup. <coughs> or because I came on the show with five children and I'm 25. What do I need to change about myself? Because every day I wake up in life, I'm going to have five children. I'm going to go huff and go get for the five children. So what did I need to change? Did I need to come on here with a wig? What did I, what did I need to do? Did I need to come on here with eyelashes or made up or something like that? Because outside of reality, when we go home and put it in there, this is what I'm going to look like when I take that wig off. This is what I'm going to look like when that hair come off. This is what I'm going to look like when I'm sitting around the house and I'm cooking and I'm cleaning for my kids. This is what I'm going to look like when I get up off work. This is what I'm going to look like when I wake up every day. Baby, I'm not going to keep the wig on all the time. I'm not going to be boo-booed up all the time. So I came on here for the people my age. For the women that they talk down on, for the people who you, you might see out there and think they're ghetto ratchet or low class, I came on here for those people. And I look like this when I'm sitting around the house. So me, those type of guys that I, I have accepted in my past, that that's that's really I was learning. I was 18 when I had my first child, and when I got in my relationship, I was 21. I stayed in there and I had my kids. That's fine. If a dude wanna judge me off that, that's cool. But this is what I'm going to look like. This is natural beauty. I mean, my head ain't done. That's fine. That is cool. But this is what I'm going to look like up under that stuff. That um, mentality she has, that's where you see these young girls coming out with, um, when they're outside with pajama pants on, bedroom shoes, um, bonnets, these little string tops, or a jacket, pajama pants, like the fuzzy shoes. Face not washed, hair not combed, because they think like that's where it comes from. So she thinks she's saying something to my, I'm here for all the people like me. This is sad. I'll just say this. Y'all women, y'all older women, y'all need to get with these young girls and try to talk to them. Because this girl here, she's not trying to listen. Kendra's 20 years older than her, and she's not trying to listen to what Kendra's saying. She don't even understand what she's saying. Kendra's trying to tell her she needs to change her mentality, the way she thinks of things. She think it's all about her hair, these lashes, and all that. That's not what Kendra's saying. You see what I'm saying? They think everything is that. No, your, your behavior has to change, young lady. That's what has to change. Man. Some people would never come up here where they look like up under their wig, but they look like up in the morning. But when I wash my face, this is what the skin going to look like. It ain't bumpy. It ain't dirty. When I pull that wig, off, this is what the cornrow is gonna look like, and I'm fine with that. But no, I don't go out in the store and on public and stuff like that with no damn with looking crazy now. But yeah, so I mean that was cool. But I think that was that was not a true statement. Well, because what, what did I say that wasn't a true statement? The way you said it didn't make sense to me. I didn't understand the way you said it. Well. Okay, well, let me let me try to explain because I, I want to give you the respect of saying what you have to say and listening to what, and I want to I want to honor you and listen. Um, you described the men that you had children by. I don't know this. the man that I had kids. No, no, no. Where no, no, one? Wait, wait, hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. Hear me out. The men that you described, you told mm -hmm. me you have a baby by a man that is you have a two month old. You don't know what's up with that father. Yeah. Well, when I say I don't know what's up is, I don't want to be, he's a good father for my child, but I don't want to. <laughs> well, let me, can I, okay, let me, let, let me just continue because I want you to, you hear me and you, and you could take it or leave it. You don't have to honor it. You don't have to accept it. Right. Uh -huh. um, and you have a child's father that's incarcerated, correct? Yes, I do. Three of my and, kids. And then what's the other child situation? He's, we was 18, so he's gone. We went our separate ways. Okay. We was so what I'm saying is if you want a different type of man, a man that might be professional, doesn't have a criminal Thank background, you, you know, a stand-up guy, 
Whether mm-hmm. we want to be honest or not, appearance is always going to be important to him. Not saying yeah. you got to come down here wig down. I'm not saying you got to come down here wig down. There's women with their natural hair that look beautiful. They don't need wigs. Your skin is beautiful. I'm not saying anything about makeup. But presentation mm-hmm. does matter to the type of men that y'all say y'all want. So, yes. Well, presentation yes. matters when I understand that. But I, like I was saying, I came up on here and Nasser didn't really care about that because no, I this is what I'm going to be And that's what I'm going to I don't really Mariah. What I'm saying is that's Pariah. What I'm saying is that's your prerogative and you don't have to change. You can be who you are, but all I'm saying is you're going to... See, a lot of you guys aren't paying attention to what's really going on. The children in the background. Why isn't she trying to quiet these kids so she can speak on the phone? Or do the video? Like I said before, not one time has she asked these kids to be quiet, go and sit down, go in another room, nothing. The noise has been on, carrying on the kids, been interrupting, saying stuff, but she hadn't said anything. Because, see, in her mind, being a good mother is not telling her kids what to do. Now, you're going to come in here and you're going to see all this and you're going to say one thing and she's going to blow up. Don't tell my kid what to do. You don't tell my kid. You keep these bad A kids to yourself. Dudes, do not step into no mess like this. It will ruin you. Stay away. Stay away. Stay away. That's the only problem that I see here is that I don't have on wig and lashes and hair is not. Well, no, baby. And- it's not just that. You don't have on wig. You don't have on lashes. You have kids crying in the background. You have a lot of things a man has to think about. And this is not just. Oh, well, kids are going to cry. You can't accept the kids are going to cry. That's fine. Because my kids are going to cry. They're toddlers. <laughs> no, and. and, and- and and I receive that. Like I'm really not trying. I, I think I'm just trying to give both sides of the spectrum. And when I was just yeah, saying you're this, saying with a guy. You keep talking over me, but I, when you were talking, I listened. Can but I get I'm the same respect? To what you're saying, can I get the same respect? Can I get the same respect? When you talk, I really want to tear you out. So can you do the same for me? Yes. Yeah, sure. okay. okay. All I'm trying to do is enlighten you. If you want a different type of man than the men you have children with. You have to show up as a different type of woman. There's nothing to do with your kids. I'm not saying we know well, your kids are a blessing. I'll call your... back on the latest show if that's what you want me to come back looking different. Because either way, when I see it coming off and I'm going to look like this, you're saying kids crying in the background. I, okay, I come with children. They're going to cry. Yeah, but what I'm saying is, yeah, so you want a different type of man right now. You want a man that you could build. I don't want no different or, type or, of man. Or, 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 I don't know. What do you want, Shariah? I'm, I'm sorry. Saying, if I we talking... We, I'm not understanding what you're saying because the kids are crying in the background. The kids are going to cry. If you come to my house or we, and, and I have my children, they're going to cry. But if we go out, I don't go out with children. If we're going on dates, but if you come to my house, my children are going to cry because I have children. They are toddlers. So what are you saying about that? I, that's what I'm not understanding. Well, let me. Okay. Okay. I, I, I can't do no more of this. I'm sorry. I can't do no more. It's more of this. I, I, I went too long as it is, but I wanted you guys to get a lot of what this girl's trying to say, but she wasn't. She doesn't get it. She really don't get it. She don't get it. Nobody wants to be there with all this noise with your kids. She don't get it. Like I said, she think it's a normal thing. You on a dating show trying to find somebody. You just had a kid two months ago, and you're already on a dating show looking for somebody else. And you don't even know what you're looking for. Because you sitting here talking about a man should be a blessing to come into this situation with five noisy, don't sit your butt down type kids. Who coming? Who? I mean, come on, people. Let's be real. This girl's 25, five kids that she won't even tell, be quiet. So you want somebody to come into this? Just imagine all the other stuff she's not telling these kids. Who wants to be with a bunch of undisciplined kids? Five undisciplined kids at that. To my going out. Man, please. Stay home. Please stay home. Don't go back outside nowhere. Don't do nothing else. Stay home raising kids. That's it. That's all you need to do. Okay, guys. So, y'all let me know what you think about this. Hit me in the comments. Let me know what y'all think about this. Uh, I, don't, I don't know. I don't know. So, But either way, make sure y'all hit that like share, subscribe, 
and that notification bell to get the next video. And as always and always, it is your boy, Mr. Nobody. <laughs>